Hi there beautiful people, welcome back to another video and welcome to Spooktober 2023. This is already my second video that I will be posting during this October fall season with all kinds of Halloween appropriate spooky fall stuff going on. So the polish that I will be trying out for today is actually one by Essence Cosmetics. It is their Cracking Magic Nail Top Coat, which if you have been on this planet as long as I've been, you know that in the 2010s or maybe even a little earlier, there was already this big hype going on with cracking top coats or crackling top coats or however they were called by specific brands. So Essence actually revamp this one. I know that Holotaco just released one as well, but I feel like that one is way too expensive just to order one bottle of, like import cost-wise and stuff like that, and Essence is a lot more inexpensive. So yeah, I'm just going to paint my nails real quick first with three really lovely like fall Halloween appropriate colors. I've mentioned this in my previous video as well. I really love blacks and oranges and even greens and especially purples all together for a really cute Halloween manicure. So I was like, if I'm going to try out a super Halloween appropriate cracking top coat, let's just apply all of those colors to my nails. So I'm going in with a beautiful orange color. You don't have to get the exact same ones if you want to recreate this nail design, by the way. You can use any color you prefer, any brand, and so on. This one is one by Catrice. I think it was from their Easter collection of this year. There were like 10, I think 10, maybe 12, really beautiful, pastel -y, bright colors, and this was one of them. That one was called Morning Glory, by the way. Then I'm also going to use this beautiful purple color by Holotaco. This one is called Work Bestie. I love purples like this, especially this season. And once again, it works really well with orange. I really love the combination like orange and purple together on its own. But because Halloween and spooky season is upon us, I feel like it tied in this design perfectly, especially at the end with the top coat added. Oh, I can't wait to share my thoughts on that because I'm just really, really excited. And I really didn't expect myself to get so excited by a cracking top coat because it's been, oh my, it's been like 13, 14 years since I last used one. I actually tried to look up my old bottle I got by Essence when they first came out with a cracking top coat like this, like back in, I don't know, 2009, 2010. I really can't remember. It's been a hot minute. But I couldn't find the bottle, like, for the love of me. I couldn't find it. And I just can't imagine myself actually throwing it out because I'm such a nail polish hoarder, collector, enthusiast, addict. Like, I rarely throw out any bottles. So I really don't know what happened to it. Um, maybe I overlooked it because I do have over 3,000 bottles in my collection but I just couldn't find it. So yeah, I can't really compare the two, but I do feel like quality-wise, this one is a little bit better or at least better than I can remember when thinking of designs I did like 13, 14 years ago with it. So yeah, that's just a whole other like side story. I can't find the OG one, so let's just focus on this one. So this is the Cracking Magic Nail Top Coat. It's just a cracking top coat, like that's it. Um, this is the first one, which is called O1, uh, You're Cracking Me Up or something like that. I, I don't even know. I haven't really done research on how this polish is actually called like color-wise because there's only one color so far. I'm also really curious to see if there will be more colors as well. But as you can see here, you really want to apply a little bit of like a thicker layer to get a more chunky effect. Just for the sake of the video, I actually blew on the um, top coat after application to show you how fast this dries. And I haven't sped up any of the footage, by the way. I just really want to show you guys that it actually dries super fast, especially if you just blow one breath on it. Like, it is like 90% dry. 
On the bottle, it actually says it dries within 30 seconds. I'd say that is pretty accurate, of course, depending on how thick of a coat you are applying, because the thicker the layer is, the longer it will take to really crack up and be fully dry. So don't get mistaken by the matte surface once you have like given it a couple of seconds. It definitely needs a little longer than just like the five seconds that you see right here before it turns matte especially if you have applied a thicker coat. Oh, and by the way, the green polish I applied, you could have already seen that in the footage a little earlier, is actually, um, I'm here for the payday, I think it was, by Holotaco as well. Once again, I love this green in combination with the other colors, really gorgeous. But yeah, here you can see, actually, I did have a little bit of that cracking top coat on my skin. It was a little bit more difficult to actually remove it with my fingernail like I usually do when I have any spillage, like right away after application. And that is just because it dries so immensely fast it is crazy so you do want to work quite fast with a top coat like this as well especially if you're applying a more thin coat because it dries on you like within a second like it's crazy but yeah after actually applying this to all of the already painted nails i was so excited with the end result it is so spooky so halloween like perfect tying in. I love it so much. I don't know if you're really into this yourself. I'm just a big spooktober Halloween overall October and fall vibe kind of girl that I really love this and it just really brings back memories because you know I just turned uh, 33 last Friday <laughs> and it just brings back like memories from like my early 20s using this polish and I just really really love it. But yeah, this polish is actually just a little below 3 euros. It is really inexpensive. There's 8 milliliters. Once again, they are vegan and cruelty free, which is something that I love. And they're quite easy to get by as well. But because I was like a little later on after recording this, I want to try this with like a really thick coat just to see what it's like. So I'm just going to put some photos that I took real quick. I think it was last Thursday. I'm still wearing this manicure as we speak. It has a green base by Catrice. It's not the same as the Holotaco one, but you can definitely see it cracks up way more chunky with a really thick coat but give it some extra seconds to be fully dry. But yeah, this was my new video. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I hope to see you next time.